Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Prince Andrew with King Charles. We're going to talk about Epstein and Harry and Meghan. So, it's been announced that 200 names of people who went via private jet to Epstein's private island will be revealed. The judge allowed to unseal for public interest some documents that were presented in court during Gillian Maxwell trial. One of those documents is a list of guests who came to that famous island. It's an island that Epstein, who was a financier, a billionaire, he used to host parties for other billionaires and personalities. Among them were some big names like uh, Bill Clinton, allegedly, like Donald Trump, like the Microsoft billionaire, and many more other people. That list will be published. It's supposed to have been published yesterday, but I haven't seen anything. But it will be published in the next few days. And apparently some high-profile men are or shaking in the boots, one of them being Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, who has been outed as one of the close friends to that pedophile and rapist also. Now, it seems that the royal family is ready to detract from that story coming out. And how they will do that is to allegedly send their best royal commentators out to write negative articles about Harry and Meghan. This is in order to distract the people of England from questioning Andrew's relationship or links to that man and from talking about him because they've been trying to rehabilitate Andrew for so long. So be aware that there will be countless articles, negative articles about the Sussexes in the next few days or so. And also, people say that they were able to see that list. It was leaked by uh, Wikileaks online. And they were able to see the list. There is the name of another royal on it, a senior, senior royal, top of the tops, right? Like, you can't go higher than him on the list. I saw what was supposed to be the list, and I saw his name there, but people say that the list is fake. But then some other people say on Twitter that the list is not fake, and that top royal's name was on it. So what I think is that if the list was true and that the name of that person was in it, I think that when the file will be released and the list will be published, that name will be removed because it's very damaging for the person in question because it threatened the monarchy itself. And I don't think that the British government would like something like that. And I think that they will do everything in their power to remove the name of that person, that higher up person, high profile, higher than higher senior royal. There's no higher than him. Any. So so let me know what you think. If you like the video, feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.